What is the derivative of x to the power of x? Whenever we have a complicated question like this, it's a good idea to start with simpler cases and then build our way from there. For example, we know that if we had x to the power of some constant a, then the derivative would be simply found using the power rule. The power would come down as a factor, and then we would subtract 1 from the power of x. On the other hand, if the base was a constant, and our variable was the exponent, then the derivative would retain the exponential part, but would only have an additional factor of the natural log of the base. In our case, we have x to the power of x, so both the base and exponent are variables. So, how can we really work with this? It would be nice to think of it as a combination, some sort of uh, superposition of those two situations, where we can treat x as the constant base once, and as the constant exponent once. So, it's kind of intuitive to propose that the derivative of x to the x would be x times x to the power of x minus 1, so that's assuming it follows the first case, and then plus x to the x times the natural log of x, assuming it follows the second case. Of course, this is just a wild guess, but assuming it was true, then the first product would simplify to x to the power of x, and then we can factor it out, resulting in x to the x times 1 plus the natural log of x. Again, this is just a hypothesis, so we shouldn't really have an equal sign, we should have a question mark next to it. The way we're going to actually find the derivative formally is by using a technique called logarithmic differentiation. We'll start with the equation y equals x to the x, and we'll take the natural log of both sides. Why are we doing that? Isn't this making the complication even worse? Well, when we have powers, the natural log helps us a lot, because a property of logs is that powers come down as factors. So this becomes x times the natural log of x. And now to find the derivative of y, which is our objective, we'll take d by dx of both sides. The derivative of the natural log of y is just 1 over y, but remember y is a function of x, so we have to account for the chain rule by multiplying by the derivative of y in terms of x. Let's call it y prime for now. The derivative of x times an x is found by using the product rule. The derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. This simplifies down to the natural log of x plus 1. And now to find y prime, all we need to do is to multiply both sides by y, and this is y prime, which is dy by dx, our objective. Now we don't want to see y in our answer. We want everything to be in terms of x, so we'll substitute for y in terms of x. What was y again? It was x to the power of x, the original question. So we have dy by dx equals x to the power of x times the natural log of x plus 1. But wait a minute. Isn't this the proposed form we suggested at the beginning? It's exactly the same thing. So it was just a wild, educated guess of some sort, but it turned out to be true. The derivative of x to the x is indeed x to the x times 1 plus the natural log of x. Isn't that amazing?